Andy, Hewland are a regular visitor to the show, but uh, you've got some new bits and pieces to show us this year. Uh, yeah, so uh, we always uh, love coming to uh, Cologne uh, every year. I think it's a great place to uh, release new projects. Uh, even, even though it might be released earlier in the year, I think it's a good place to then demonstrate them to, to various different new and uh, prospective customers. Uh, this year we've got a couple of boxes with us. Uh, this one's a, a transverse transaxle box, which were originally was designed uh, for a specific applica duty application. Um, we're working with the customer, we, we've now released it to the public, so it's a high torque, um, very compact, lightweight box, uh, really targeting like, GT4 to GT3 customers. Uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, one of those boxes where uh, recognition of where we are with the motorsport market is, uh, is mid-level from, a, mid, mid -level from a, a product range point of view rather than some of our more exotic uh, top-level GT boxes that we have, so uh, more accessible to some of the, the kind of mid-level teams that we, we work with as well. Can you give us an idea of how this is different to some of the lower level and higher level stuff that you already build? Yes, it's a, uh, a, lot, a, lot of the, a lot of the work we do is around uh, cost perform around the cost per mile and the performance of benefits of a gift to a customer. So work, working with the customer, understanding what the requirements are from a, a usability point of view, season to season, and understand what the, the level, the budget levels are from the customer from the customer racing teams, and really designing it into be an extremely robust product that will last uh, at least at, at least minimum the requirements of their season and beyond, and, uh, and and that's really what we've worked with the customer and making it as compact and lightweight as possible, whilst also considering cost in, in those types of products as well. broad range of people come to this show. I guess that's great for you for all applications of motorsport that Hewland are involved with. Yeah, absolutely. So, so really products that we bring are applicable to a whole host of people. You can, you can be speaking to a top uh, a tier, tier one or OEM a purchaser from the race team, which is great for us and customers that we have in OEM uh, OEM race teams to right down to, to smaller smaller race teams who are looking to acquire a uh, gearbox for a small small run of cars, and and that's really where we bring a, a whole host of different products that we, we tailor to the um, tailor to the people who come to the show. Andy, there's also a touring car gearbox on the other side of the stand. Just talk to us a little bit about that one. Yeah, so we were fortunate enough to to secure a, a significant volume touring car opportunity uh, in, in in 2019. So we we spent uh, the early part of the, the year designing and developing the new product, which, which again from a, a touring car perspective is a, is a really a buoyant market, lots of, lots of cars and lots of OEMs are bringing new cars into it and so from a volume perspective it's fantastic for us and um, making sure that we're again giving that best cost per mile to the customer, uh, providing a solution that's cost effective and also delivering the performance requirements performance requirements requested from the race teams and being at the front of the grid is, is, is what we've been working on um, and I think we've, we've, we've uh, come, wrapped all that up in that product so it's uh, again it's very nice to demonstrate it to a whole host of different teams and make it available uh, for other teams who might not necessarily have that significant volume but can derive the benefit from that with a product that's more accessible for them. There's also a lot of other suppliers here which I guess you can do business to business with. Yeah, absolutely, and particularly on electrification as well. Uh, this shows uh, becoming more, more more about electrification and performance automotive as well, which I think is really important. Performance automotive and, and motorsport uh, go go hand in hand really. And uh, for, for, for motorsport market, uh, it's it's a challenging market, and that's why everybody here recognises uh, motorsport market as a challenging market and quite captive. So branching into performance automotive as well and doing it through shows like this is, is really important to us. And uh, and yeah, meeting other, meeting other uh, people in the industry who've got similar challenges to us uh, and making sure that they're being put in contact with the right people, uh, it helps build that network and when people are considering purchasing a, a, a gearbox and uh, they don't know where to go and you've already, you've already got the relationships with other companies, it, it's, it's very good for them to, to make those introductions and we find that uh, particularly works well in electrification for us as well.